when do you ask your elders, your parents, like not your friends, mm -hmm. like your elders, like what are your goals for next year? Nobody mm. asks people that when they're old. Yeah, I think something Good that because they're like for what? You I know, think like, something that my mom says that I don't like. She's always says she always says, "Yo estoy más para fuera que para dentro," meaning like. She's almost about to die. And I'm like, dude, you're only no. 54 pa years parents old. Parents think they're dying, mm -hmm. like, at, so, like, yeah, that's 50. really cool that... And it's this idea that, like, as a... And we're back. Never too shy. We're back. You're probably we're wondering back. what the hell are you guys wearing? That's Our a good PJ. question. <laughs> it's well, a PJ she's wearing party. her onesie. Yeah, I didn't onesie. expect that. That's but cool. I wanted to get a onesie. I a good Instead, onesie. I got this grandpa Yes, yeah, for the onesie. I hate grandpa. onesies. It's okay. Your grandpa flannel, but it looks yeah. cute. It's, it's for real. Cute. Cute. We look cute. It on, I'm like, okay, we'll wear them. We're like in our in our um, pajama era right now, and mm -hmm. I really like it. Whose mm -hmm. idea was this? Tati's. Mine. I think oh. Tati. <laughs> like, what was the point? I love it. What was the point? Just, just to be comfortable. <laughs> just and then cozy less. vibes. You know, it's she, our it's our last episode of the year. Yes. So we're dude. gonna talk about like real shit. I mean, we always talk about real shit, but like we're gonna talk about our lives. So I figure let's get comfortable. And she did Ooh. say when it's like a holiday, she wants to stick to the holiday for as long. You're as You're such she a can. teacher. You're like a theme lady. Yes. Uh, he, listen, he, listens. he does listen one thing about Nestor he will listen yeah. I'm a really I'm <laughs> a bad time. listener but like sometimes I just notice like I'll let things kind of like go and then I like two days later I'll go back to it oh. yeah I'm like yeah. oh that was a little too late but mm -hmm. I, I try to be on it and try to listen better yes. but yes we are back and um, we're gonna dive into our affirmations before that though we're going to uh, today talk vision boards so we've been talking teasing the vision board thing for a mm -hmm. minute mm -hmm. I just found out Nestor's never done a vision board mm -hmm. which blows my mind we're excited excited for you you why have you done one i mean you just didn't want to maybe it's the guy in me <laughs> yes i, I don't the even man know what a me. vision board is a woman in me. Our, our producer's <gasps> wife you've never here, done one and Marco, she hasn't you, done it i know you haven't so right. like, you know, I, know, I think you kind of just know what you want to do and what you don't want to do right yeah it, but it's it's so exciting how about you though. explain to us what is a vision board Paulina. Yes. So a vision board is sort of kind of, it's a tool, right? Uh -huh. It's a tool to sort of get your thoughts on paper, but in a different way, it's more of a vi visualization. And I can't say that damn word, but when you visualize something, right, you bring yeah. your manif manifestations into fruition You bring it into the, um, out of the 3d into the, like the, 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 the 5d. So technically we live in a 3d world, right? So this is like the whole manifestation process. We live in a 3d world, right? Right now we're in a 3d world. Things mm -hmm. are 3d. I'm touching right the TV. There's a chair. We're in a 3D world, but there is a version of you of the stuff that you want, right? Whether it's career, family, love, finances, whatever it is. There's a version of you living that version, right? Living in a different world, which is the 5D, which mm -hmm. is like the the subconscious. It's kind of like the, you don't see the 5D, right? The 5D, you don't see it. You can't touch it. You can't breathe it. I know I'm getting like really smooky with it, but like. We are in the 3D, so the goal is to bring that version into this reality. Mm. So a vision board can be a tool to help you. Honestly, it could just be something as fun as just literally creating mm -hmm. your um, creating kind of like a like a like um something visual for your goals, right? And and the fact that it's visual is more like you would you when you see it, yes, it's always in your head. You're always manifesting it subconsciously. Yeah. So like. Yes. Kind of like a scoreboard, but with vision. Like you're going, always going back to this throughout the whole year. Kind of. Okay. I mean, we'll talk about that because I definitely like feel like it's yeah. important to make sure that like, it's always in your view one way or yes. another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. But don't make it and like put it in your closet. Uh -huh. Like exactly. I would definitely suggest, we'll, we'll give suggestions on that. Mm -hmm. Notati has her her way too. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Which is great and it I, works. I think that's great that we have two different ways of yes. doing it, which is going to be super helpful to the listeners or the mm -hmm. viewers. Go with what works best for you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And basically, it's kind of like like putting your dreams onto paper. Mm -hmm. But a I feel visual, like I'm in class. Like, I know, right? <laughs> class is in session. It guys. is in session. Yes. Vision I, board 101. I get so excited about them. I don't know me why. Too. Me just, too. They make me feel oh. so good. I love the end of the year. I love the end of, yep. Oct of October, of December, yes. of being able to do this. I me too. I brought my notebook today. Actually. You should have. I had a book. I'm I know. so mad. I purposely Not packed too. it and I forgot it. Cause, cause I was Shame. gonna rip pages out for you to do for homework. I like that. <laughs> no, like it was a book that you actually like. No, you I rip like pages Wait, so out, and it's, it's 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 called Letters to the Universe. 
Oh, I like that. Yeah, wow. it's great. I really do hope that after this, like you guys go home, make a vision board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's I can help the room. You. I can help you guys. Like I, mean, I help like everybody because I get so excited. Same. Yeah, it's not like I'm visionless, you know. But of I, of course. But I do like that. <laughs> <laughs> visionless. <laughs> but I do like that. The lesson today. <laughs> Good. I'm excited. And we're also going to talk about, too, like our own personal goals for next year. Because yes. I actually would love to revisit, revisit this episode mm. like a year from now and be like, yes. what have we done? Or what ha what can we, you know, talk about that maybe like mm -hmm. we didn't reach. But like, what did we, you know, how far do we get in that yes. goal? I'd yes. love to do that next year. That is awesome. Right. I didn't Thank think you. about that. It'd be fun. Just kind of mm. look back. I, I love reflecting, too. So Me too. We'll definitely talk about that. Uh, yes, we have guest host Madeline over there. Yes, girl. Yes. yes vision board. Yes. She, see, she probably does them before they do, to right. be honest. She's like, I, I already know. got my vision board. Right. She's got her vision board with her enemies. That's what she has. <gasps> wow. Her enemies? Mm -hmm. That's dark. She, she does. Enemies. She has enemies. She has enemies. Right. It's her enemy, her She's enemies the are, are the dogs. Candyland. So the dogs are enemies. Who doesn't? Uh, well, maybe, yeah. It's her versus the dogs, probably. All the time. Aww. <laughs> That's all right. So let's start uh, with affirmations. Nestor, since you okay, wait, since no, we haven't no, seen no. you, I would love to hear from you. Yeah. <laughs> Can somebody else go first? Damn it. Nestor. I'm actually very tired. This I is know. such a busy season for me. And so... Is this like your busiest season, you think? Yeah, this is summer, but I think right now it's probably busier than my summer season. Um, wow, that's good. I'm proud of you for still showing up, Okay, though. Tati, go first. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she she can. Go first. She can. Yeah, that's fine. Um... I was really stuck between two and that always happens because I feel like one, I, I've been wanting to say this affirmation cause I've been feeling it more lately, but then the other one, like I feel it more today. Yeah. So I'll say both really quick. The first one is give flowers to those who water your garden. Ooh. Um, and that comes with me reflecting on this year and my life. And it's just like, there's so many people that I can attribute like my growth or areas I've um, worked on on myself to um, because they've called me out or they've helped me realize great things about myself or yeah. um, they encourage me on this podcast. So yeah. I feel like giving flowers to people who help you water your garden is super important. And then number two is today I will not stress over things I can't control. Is that from your Instagram thing? Yes, I saw that. yes, it I is. Saw I saw it and I was like, oh, it's my affirmation. That's literally me today. Yeah. So those are my affirmations. No, oh, I love it. Probably not go next. <laughs> Wait, damn it. Um, <laughs> you guys just stand like deer in headlights. Right. We're literally <laughs> like, like looking at each other. Who's going to do it? Um, so for me, I think my affirmation for this week would be, uh, let's see. I don't know. I think it would just be like gratitude is my attitude. And I know that's like very, very basic, but basic. I'm going to spice it up a little bit, I guess. But for me, it's like, I feel like I want to be in a huge state of gratitude all the time. I feel like that's how a lot of my manifestations come to fruition and they come to light because of like the, the underlining tone of always being grateful no matter what. Mm -hmm. And I think like a lot of things are falling into place. Like it's weird. Cause like I, this is my busy time too. It's not like work related. I mean, it, it was in the beginning of the month, like you said, Nestor, that you're like really busy at this time. It's just like, I'm really busy with like, like I'm in my life season busy. It's like a lot going on. I'm literally being turned in like four different directions within like two hours. And I'm like, whoa, like, you know what I mean? Like gotta get this done, but I want to get this done, but I want to go see this. I gotta go fix that. You know? So it's like little things I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. on top of being pregnant so I'm like this is just a lot going on mm -hmm. but it's like exciting you know so I'm like oh I'm really grateful that things are happening because it's so funny so on my vision board that I made that we'll get into I have a picture of something specific like I like took a picture of this thing it doesn't exist on the internet like I had to go take a photo of it mm -hmm. and that thing is coming to fruition so I'm just like that exact thing because it's again it's on, it's on the internet mm -hmm. I, I like went to go take a picture of it. I love it and then I printed it and I put it on there and it's like happening so I was like Oh, I was like, look at that. So like for me, it's like I'm just grateful for little things to fall into place. There's still some more stuff that I'm like I need to fit like figure out and finish, but I'm like really happy. So I'm like, mm -hmm. this is a nice place, but it's weirdly busy, which is like I feel like my head's like in my ass half the time. I'm like, oh my God. Like I'm just like, you know what I mean? It's your, just like the days your, are going. Your crooked ass. My crooked ass. Let's not forget. <laughs> we discovered her ass. ass is crooked. Yes. My chiropractor said I have a crooked ass and I okay. was really upset. Maybe your baby's gonna help you like realign it. You I know? hope so. Someone's <laughs> Maybe gotta she's like, bah! <laughs> smack her right in the in the Someone's plate. gotta realign this damn ass. <laughs> 
Maybe Boom. a bag. A crooked bag. Yeah. But yeah, that, that's, that's that. great. I can't wait to hear about it. Yay. Nestor, talking to the mic. He's still thinking about it, but I guess for me, something that's been on my mind this whole week and just like this season um, is making sure that everything that I do has a purpose behind it. So that I'm not just doing and being everywhere. And so even like today, one of my friends had asked me to help him with something. Mm. And I kind of don't want to do it, you know? Uh, yes, I feel like I do have a certain amount of influence on certain people to make that happen. Whatever it is, what he asked me, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to really mm -hmm, put myself mm -hmm. out there. But just making sure that everything that I'm doing is that I'm being very intentional behind everything. Pretty much it. I love it. My intentional king over there. Yes, intentional king. <laughs> yes, Come intentional. On, I K. You look so happy, but so yeah. tired. I just want to like, I want to like, like, cr I like am tired. I'm cradle tired. you to sleep. Cuddle at the end. Here. I know. We're going to run through this. And then, producer Marco, what is your affirmation? We're dragging yeah, I'm doing you every week now. God damn. I think the fans love you. You're they two love fans. you. My friend really loves when you speak. My oh, yeah? friend loves you. Yeah. Well, See? They can. He loves you. The guy who's like, here? He, he literally. What? The guy who was here? No, not him. Okay. Uh, no, he <laughs> likes you too, but not him. You know who this other person is. He literally is like, I want Marco on camera so bad. They, they want it. The people he want wants it. you on camera so bad. Maybe 2025. I we'll think talk. he likes you more than me. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, okay. Never. <laughs> um, my affirmation is protect your peace. So right now. That that's is a on, way. It's on my vision board. Ah, yes. Oh, my God. Yeah. Please so go. that's a way of, uh, of saying, because like, it's the end of the year. Everyone wants to get a hold of me. Everyone wants to talk to me. Everyone wants to do everything. <laughs> And it's like, I feel like I just, I, I've been ignoring people lately. I've just been like, I'll answer this later or I'll do it later because it's a lot of people. These past two weeks have been fucking crazy. Yes. This next week is going to be crazy. So yeah, protect your peace and don't feel similar to you, Nestor. Don't feel obligated to do shit for people. Like, you know, mm -hmm. people can do their own things and figure it out. That's me. Nice. Love it. Protect your peace. Yeah. I want like, to like go into the new year with that. Tattooed yeah. on my forehead. I love that. Mm -hmm. Put it on your vision board. Two weeks Stop. in a row that I put in a, a statement. Because last week you were, uh, what did I say last oh, week? Oh, last week you said when or you. No, when you, next week, two weeks from now, whenever this goes Oh, uh, well, in, in the, <laughs> just know, Mark will be saying some good shit. Yeah, That's just all, know. just know. That's just it. No. Just know. Just yeah. know. <laughs> all right. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So we're going to dive into then the vision board topic. I yes. know everyone's waiting on the edge of their seats for this one, yes. especially Nestor. Yeah. So vision I boards like for 2024. Mm -hmm. So I, I guess we can go through like some of the tips and stuff that mm -hmm. like we've done. So I think that they said you, you do like events based around it, which are really fun to do too with your girls or like mm -hmm. your whoever, like you, you guys get together and do it. Yeah. It started during COVID, mm. which uh, was 2020. 2021 yeah 2020 March it started 2020. in 20 it started no we the, the, no so the reason why it was 2021 because i had covid almost all my girlfriends had covid during this time oh. and so we did it on zoom and we were on zoom for like three hours wow. and there was like nine of us on zoom and it was beautiful like at we li we literally created the vision board we like played music, but we were all on Zoom working. I felt like a teacher at that time. Like, how are we doing? Are we good? Can we share out? Um, <laughs> and so like with the vision board, after that, I've created like, like not a party, but like I host it every year with a small intimate group of just my girlfriends because we realize after time, like you're being very vulnerable when you're sharing your vision board yes. because you have to think about like mal de ojo. And things like that, right? And yes. so when you're sharing these things that you want to come into fruition, you're being vulnerable about what you've been through, what you feel like you deserve, what you want, what you're lacking. And so you share that. And one of my favorite things about this is each of us go around, we share our vision board. But as everybody's sharing, oh. we all have to keep in mind a word we want to give them that we want for them for the next year. Mm -hmm. So for example, if all of us shared our vision board, I'm thinking as you're sharing, okay, what do I want for Paulina? And yeah. I'm going to give you that word when you're done. And then when you share yours, what do I want for you? And I'm going to give you that word. And that word is a symbol of maybe 
this is something you said on your on your vision board. And so I'm going to say it out loud in a different way because I want that so bad for you. Or maybe it's like I've known you for this long. You didn't mention it on your vision board, but I really want this for you. So I'm going to like manifest it for you. And oftentimes I think this happened last year is somebody gave somebody else a word and they loved it and they added it to their vision board. Mm. Um, so when I do vision boards, it's more of a celebration. It's manifestation, but it's also because I've only done it in spaces with my girlfriends, like kind of like a sisterhood bonding thing. Um, I am. I did get asked to host like a vision board workshop too. Uh, for the dance team that I'm on. So I'm excited to open it up and help other people with it. Yes. But I love doing vision boards. Um, the way I do it yes. is a little bit different than yours. So I could talk about how I do it. Yeah. And yeah. then you could go on to how you do it. Perfect. Is it typically like a for the year only or is it? It's it's typically just for the upcoming year. Okay. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, because again, you want to be like realistic, but then a visionary, right? And so it's hard to go beyond the year um in my opinion yeah. yeah i like to focus on like the year ahead yeah ideally and so i use like google slides oh um, okay you could also use canva any any type of like online platform where you can add visual uh, visuals you could add quotes text what symbols whatever you want and we start off with a clean canvas and you add your background first when I think about the background of your vision board, especially like on a Google Doc, for me, that's like the foundation. Mm. Like, where is this coming from? How am I being intentional? So like last year, my background for 2023, for this year, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, my background was like a castle, like a fairy tale. Mm -hmm. Because Aww. like, you know, I've I've always been teased with like, oh, you're such a princess. And it's like, well, shit, like I deserve to be treated like a princess. That's like, right. yep. so I'm going to put that on my background. Um, so this year, my background's a little different, but still very colorful. And for me, it's the the idea of be bold, but be soft. Mm. Ooh. Um, like I could be loud, but I could I could still be soft. But so be bold, be soft. That's my foundation. And then from there, I go for my affirmations. Like, what are things I want to say to myself every day that I actually want to make a part of my life where it, I just feel it and I mm. act on it? So I put my affirmations. Then I put, I think of like images or things I want to accomplish goal related. And I'll find images or I'll actually type them out. Um, oftentimes, the more specific you could be, the better. Yes. I learned that over time. Um and so you just design it however you want and you just sit back and admire it. And then I edit it like a hundred times and I keep saving it, unsaving it, saving it, unsaving it. Mm. I think that's one rule with the vision board that there are no rules. Mm. Like Facts. if you make a vision board and you're like, oh, I want to add something actually like do it. It's not like once you make it, it's done. Yeah, yeah. Like continue to add to it, reflect I think that's a beautiful practice, just constantly being reflective and thinking about, is this something I'm going to dedicate time and energy to? How important is this to me? Um, because I take my vision board very serious. I'm not just going to put like a million dollars on there, right? Like that That's not something important to me where it's like, oh, I'm going to do something to get a million dollars. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's my way of doing it digital because then you could save it, you could print it, you could take a screenshot. So what I do is I save it, I take a screenshot and then I put it, you can't really see it, but I put it as a widget like on my phone because how many times do we look at our home screen? Every, Every day. day how many times? times? At least like 300 times. For at sure. At least. So without realizing it, every day I'm manifesting this. Every day I'm reading this. And I repeated a quote I had in my last vision board for 2023 to continue with 2024. Mm. And it's right at the center. And it's the first thing you see. And it says, this is why I never settled. Because Ooh. future me will always say that. Like, this is why I didn't settle. Because of this. I have yeah. this. Um, and so I'm also very mindful and intentional of how big I make certain images. Ooh. Um, so, yeah. So... If you're a digital person, you you're, you want to work on your iPad, your laptop, do that, save it, put it on your phone background. You could even, like I said, print it. You could print it, have it on your phone. Hell, you could have it on the toilet. You could have yeah. it literally anywhere there's a mirror in your house, in yes. your car. 
it doesn't hurt. Have it wherever you want that you think um, you're really going to be intentional and like see it and manifest it. I love it. So I, that's my take. No, I like that way. And I actually feel like I might mess around and just like do one like that too, mm -hmm. uh, a more of a digital approach too, because mine's a little bit different. We'll dive mm -hmm. into in a second. But um, I do like the idea of having it like on your phone and having it like um, people do like their laptops, right? Like their mm -hmm. background or whatever, because it's mm -hmm. just, it's something that's literally in your face. Like you yeah. said, you're being very intentional with it. Mm -hmm. um, you're taking it everywhere you go, which like the whole point is to see it, not put it away. So right. I right. love that idea. Mm -hmm. I like it. And it's like yeah. not too complicated for like beginners. No, it's not. And if you need help, like DM me. I love this. Oh. I will help you. I really enjoy doing vision boards. Last year, I sat my mom down and I'm like, let's do your vision board. And then I sat my dad That's down. I, I said, let's do your vision board. I sat Miguel down. I sat everybody down. And I did everybody's vision board with them oh because God. I love it so much. That's what I was going to say, that a lot of times you think that it's only for like an H bracket or no. only for, you know what I mean? And, and let me tell you, it was actually really beautiful doing it with my mom and dad I because, because I realized like my mom doesn't ask for much. No. And I was like, Ma, I think next year, what do you want? She was like, oh, oh shit. And then, then, her out. then when she started going, she was she going. Was but um, and, and it's funny seeing theirs together, how different they are. Mm. Just their vision boards alone. Like my dad's Names was very, I was gonna say. my dad's was very like faith God based yeah. and like work based. And my mom's was more health, family and like beautifying the house and fixing problems and stuff wow. like very different. Um, but that was beautiful because like, think about it. When do you ask your elders, your parents, like not your friends, mm -hmm. like your elders, like what are your goals for next year? Nobody mm. asks people that when they're old. Yeah. I think something Good that cause they're like, for what? You I know, think like, something that my mom says that I don't like, she's always, says, she always says, yo estoy más para fuera que para dentro. Meaning like, She's almost about to die. And I'm like, dude, you're only no. 54 pa years parents old. Parents think they're dying. Mm -hmm. Like, at but like, yeah, that's 50. really cool that. And it's this idea that, like, as a parent, you no longer, like, live to serve yourself. You serve yeah. your child. And no matter how old your child is. Mm -hmm. So I think this is something beautiful that I would encourage people to do with their families. Like, I do it specifically, like I said, with my girlfriends. But, like, if you could do something with your family like this, 100%. I think that's beautiful with your husband. I made him do one last year. We'll mm -hmm. talk about that. Like, I think, yeah. I think that's I ain't never great. Gonna do one. Don't worry about it. I think you oh, and Lucy I'm, should do I'm, it. I ain't never going to do one. Don't worry about it. I think you should. <laughs> I mean, I know, what are you going to lose? Nothing. Yeah, right. I don't know. I, love I think it's just like, oh, we'll, we'll do one for you. But I think for me, um, I always say that like when I speak about things going to happen to me. Into existence? Not into existence, but like they're going to happen. I dream it well. Oh, you're a dreamer. No, I mean, sometimes, depending on what the goal is. But, like, if I say I'm going to do something, like, it's going to happen. Like, there's no other choice. So, like, whatever that is. I mean, yeah. Oh, I get what you're saying. I'm the same yeah. way. Yeah. But, what? Yeah. but, like, you follow through with what you're, you're yeah, saying. Yeah, whatever it could be. And it could be something like, you know, there, like, this year, there's something crazy happened that, like, no one thought it was going to happen. I'm like, no, it's going to happen. And it happened mm. because of me. So, like, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. So, that's. But why, why did you say, um, that's not going to happen. Like, you're not going to create a vision board. Yeah, why are you against my vision why board? Why are you so <laughs> against yeah, our vision board? I'm, I'm so not. I'm open to everyone doing me? their own vision boards, man. You know? You get no, you just said you, it. He doesn't like arts and crafts. <laughs> is, I don't, that, I don't, is that what it is? I don't it like... It doesn't like, have to be something crazy I'm, like... I'm not into like the, the manifestation, hippie, essence, like all that kind of stuff. He was so skeptic about my psychic and then Ember, I brought still. you in. Yeah, I know you are. I mean, But he still went though. We got him to go. We cracked him. I mean, I'm with you on that. On some of Like I'll things. go like for your, your psychic, right? Like I really want to go to every single psychic I can find and see what they say about me. To see like the differences that they get off of my energy aura or color, yeah. and things like that. Like we have, me and Lucy have a pack that if one of us dies first, we're gonna go to those people that like can talk to the dead. I don't know what they're called. Oh, a medium. A medium. Yeah. And we're gonna say, okay, what is my partner saying? Because like we have a word specifically, we have a phrase. I love that. that, that me too. That we can find out that to say bullshit because no one's been able to do it. So like Harry Houdini and his wife did that. No medium in the entire world could do that. Really? Yeah. I like that idea. So that's where we got the inspiration for. Okay. So that's the type of like mindset I'm in. But like, y'all do your vision boards, man. It's all good. <laughs> it's have some wine, relax, Damn it, chill. I'll have my vision board. It's just me and my vision oh board my against God, you, the world. You, when you said that, right? you kind of reminded me of my brothers. <laughs> they say stuff like that. 
Yeah, <laughs> that's good for you, but right. <laughs> yeah, hey, everyone, everyone, do their own thing. I mean, I'm so, not against everything yeah. you're saying right now because I do. You know, I've, I've been honest board. about some of those things that I don't really. Not that I don't believe, but like I don't really. I'm surprised that you haven't done one, Nestor. Right? Like, like it feels like board? you're yeah. a huge like. Well, because you're I, a huge. Like, I feel like I I do write things down, <laughs> but not like with pictures and doing all. And that. it doesn't have to be pictures, like right. It could literally just be a bunch of words. But that's basically words, what it is. Dates, timeline, like whatever, so, whatever you want. Right. Like what I do for mine, right, yeah. is a little more um, like arts and craftsy. Yeah. Um, I, I've throughout the year, I, yeah, I'll collect magazines. Like, I don't know how the fuck I got a subscription, but I did somehow to like People <laughs> Magazine or something. Uh, but, but I started collecting them. I'm going to just keep them, right? Or then I think I have Vogue um, and other stuff that will come to the house or just stuff that I see. And I collect them. And at the end of the year, I'll invite people over. So I love how you said, like, mom and dad and mm -hmm. husband or whatever. Um, I've done it with my mom this year, um, my my mother-in-law last year and this year. And it's so interesting because you learn about that person, too, I feel, you know? You like, And she's, like, a very selfless woman. Like, everything's for everyone else. From my mom, too, and mm -hmm. my, my mother-in-law. Everything's for everybody else. And watching her do that and stuff. And she literally was, like, like gluing stuff. And she's, like... You know, I want to, like, spend more uh, time, like, investing in myself. Like, I want to, like, you know, like, mm -hmm. work out. Or not work out, but, like, go to, like, yoga. And, like, I mm -hmm. want to, like, like have me time. And, like, her kids are grown as fuck. So mm -hmm. I'm, like, that makes me sad, you know? So I was, yeah. like, very happy that she wanted to prioritize, like, herself now. Mm -hmm. And I'm, like, you deserve that, you know? Yes. She, like, loves fashion. Like, I knew she did. Like, she's a fashion fashionable person. But, like, she loves her, her brands, you know? And she was, like, I want to dress like that. And, like, I was, like, oh, I love it. Yeah. And I think it's, like, an inner child thing, too, low-key. Mm -hmm. I do. So, like, I think um, doing that. And then I had my husband do it, too. And he he's funny, but he was like gluing stuff on there. And I didn't think he was gonna do it. He got like, he's not gonna do it, but he did. And um everything that was on his vision board came to light. As stupid as it is, even a fucking travel credit card. Like we literally we were specific. We wanted a specific travel credit card to get points. It's in my fucking pocket right now. I have Period. the travel credit card. Like Period. it's very specific. So what I do, like I said, is I I I love the foundation idea that you set because I think I would change that on mine now. Um, I usually just do like a piece of construction paper, mm -hmm. pick a color, um, or you can do like, how do you call them? Poster boards, mm -hmm. cut those mm -hmm. up, whatever, how, however big you want it to be. It could be this big, could be a, mm -hmm. eight by 11, but I love that idea. Maybe set a foundation under it. And then, like I said, I, I cut out certain things um, and I had to learn the hard way, but like this manifestation vision board thing, be specific. That mm -hmm. be specific part kicks my ass every time <laughs> yeah. because like the universe <laughs> doesn't like know. Like the universe knows, but they don't know. So like th and that's another thing too, right? So like if like you you want a, something specific, you're like, oh, I, I don't know, making this up. I want a dog, right? But let's just say you want a specific dog. What is it on yours? No, I have a story about that. Go ahead. Oh, okay, but like you know what I'm saying. So it's like it's like be mother effing specific, mm -hmm. and 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 get to that point. Like the the universe mm -hmm. loves when you're specific. Mm -hmm. So like, and that's why too the the universe also doesn't know when we're like playing around. So like this is kind of a topic. But if you were if I was walking around, and I was like I'm just so stupid. I'm so dumb. Like I'm really trying not to do that anymore. I'm a queen of that. Oh, I'm so dumb. But like the universe doesn't know like you're just like playing like you know like yeah. being like oh like haha -ha. like you're just like oh just dumb in this moment but the universe hears that and goes mm -hmm. you're a dummy you know what i mean yeah. so like we have to like watch how we use our tongue and speak mm -hmm. of ourselves mm -hmm. so i'm really working on that too but mm -hmm. the be specific part um it's been kicking my ass so i'm like okay mm -hmm. let me do that so with my vision boards i like to focus on that a couple lessons i've learned and i actually have them here is i'll share three of them yes if you guys don't mind no um i love it so what i started to do was organize my life into categories so organize my my visions into categories. Yes, so for me, me I'm a multi, how do you call them? Multi hyphened, multi fucking everywhere person where I have like- You wear many hats. I do. And I have my my hands in different pots. So that's even the phrase. Mm -hmm. I might've made yeah. it up. I like to do different stuff, stuffs. I like to do different, do stuff. different things. <laughs> different stuffs. So for me, I like to do it where, okay, I'm, I'm going to focus on like family, right? Life, love, whatever. Yeah. Um, focus on like my financial goals, maybe focus on my work, right? Media stuff. And then I want to focus on anything extra like business stuff. Like what else do I want to try this year? What do I want to get my, my hands in? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, so like for me, that's like important of categorizing your life. Cause I have a lot yep. of visions. I have a lot of 
manifestations I'd love to see come to life, but they mm -hmm. all fall into like different categories. Yes. So I'm trying to do better at that. So that's one of my tips. And then I have um, to, I've learned this too. I never, I never used to do this, but including yourself in your board. So like putting my name, putting my own photo, mm. I've learned that people do that. And it's like such a powerful technique. And I never did that before. Mm -hmm. You know, I would, I would take like, like, for example, I think last year before I started this podcast, um, it says the podcast on it. I have a vision board from last year. I'm going to, mm -hmm. I'm going to post it. And it says the podcast, but it's like a random chick with blonde hair, like sitting like this from like a magazine. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I should have put myself on there, mm -hmm, you know? Absolutely. So I think that's like a very powerful technique. And then my number thir three, my third one I can't talk today, is personalized affirmations to reverse limiting belief. So I Oof. think with me, I have um, certain beliefs that I just grew up with and I still carry with me at the big age of 31, where I feel like sometimes like, okay, I'm not good enough. We've talked about this, right? Imposter syndrome. Yeah. So I want to make sure that those affirmations align with me so mm -hmm. that I'm starting to, or I'm not starting, but I'm continuing to reverse those limiting beliefs, right? Because the only thing stopping me from being great is fucking me. Truthfully, at the end of the day, it, I am literally Period. my worst enemy. Nobody can stop me from doing anything. Yeah. I stop myself all the time, and I'm really trying to fight myself a lot on that. So those are my kind of three tips. I do like to do it by hand. I like to have people mm -hmm. involved. I think it's really fun. Um, the, and then you can also create it digitally. You can scan it to your computer. You can take a photo of it. People do that. Um, and I like to keep it out. Right now it's sitting like on my vanity the one for this year. I haven't finished her yet. Um, one more other like little side tip that I've gotten or that I've heard is like to start in, if you can, in November. So I actually did mine in November. They said like not to wait. You can do it as, as you please or when you have yeah. time, especially with this busy season. It's a lot going on. But if you can do it prior to December, um, that's a nice way to set up your last month of the year to kind of welcome in those those um affirmations right or, the, or those those visions that you have on your board for the new year coming up so like you don't have to i know it's like a busy time but they said if you can start a month prior definitely like you don't have to wait till like december 31st to make right. it you know what i mean mm -hmm. but like i said do it at your own pace when you feel ready and also like if you even have time because it's a crazy time right now i know um if you don't mind how about so, so you obviously haven't done one yet. Maybe you don't have to share everything, mm -hmm. but like maybe what's something you put in your vision board last year yeah. that you feel like happened yeah. and then what's something you put for next year that you're looking forward to and then I could share and then you could tell us like what would, what would be some things you would want to yeah, put. Yeah. Yes, I love that. So la I'm trying to think of last year's vision board as hard as I can. I did have wedding on there. <laughs> Um, I was supposed to get married in Mexico. That was my first like destination wedding or whatever. Like that, that was the first idea. And then we changed it to Vegas. But um, I had, I had a, it said like the wedding or something or so the wedding obviously happened. So that came to fruition, except they were the, in my vision board, they were in a pool in Mexico. So mm -hmm. that was a little different. We were still in a pool. Right. We're, we still had a pool party. It just wasn't in Mexico. We were in a pool. So that was one of them. Um, that one came to life. And then, like I said, like, um, I had like the, well, Javi, my husband had like that credit card on there, which we're both like, oh, because I, I really wanted, I'm like, when I start getting points, like we literally use credit cards, but don't have any benefits to them. And I'm like, Let, it, it's time. Like we got to do this. So he like got that for us. And now I'm like, okay, good. Like now we bought to get these air, air miles for free. Cause like, no, I was like, we literally have no benefits from this damn card. So like that was one of them that was like on our list or like that we wanted to do. Um, oh, I had a French bulldog and I actually fostered for the first time in May. Mm -hmm. um, I fostered a Frenchie. Love him. His name is Ludo. He went to a very good, loving um, suburban white family. He lives better than me. So I know he lives in like this like gorgeous house. That, like he goes to the farmer's market. Oh my God. He does. He's a lot of friends in the neighborhood. He is living his best life. So like that came to be um, about four or five years ago. I had Cardi B on there because of her body type. I really love her body. I know it's she's got enhancements, but I fucking love her body. Mm -hmm. That year, I ended up getting a BBL through a, a partnership. And that was like my favorite, my favorite like like era of like my BBL era, like mm -hmm. fresh BBL. I was the thinnest that I think I was at that time. I mean, it, it like looked good. Like it looked natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like a big fear, right? Like, is it going to look good? Mm -hmm. And I didn't have to pay for it. So like oh, that yeah. was to me, I was like, get it. We need that partnership. I was like, 
I know, right? Sponsors. <laughs> yes, I'll see you in April. I'll get one too. Me and Tati will get a BBL. What okay. about me? Can we put that on our vision board, please? You absolutely can. You absolutely no. can. I mean, you can, yeah. You don't know what? <laughs> I mean, the idea of it, yeah, but like, is is that a real priority for me? No. <laughs> no? You never know. Why? I'm I mean, kidding. I'm very open. If it's going to be for free, run it. Yeah, girl, it's a partnership. Do it. Let's go. Seriously. Or we'll just say thing. partnerships on the vision board. Yes. Right. Yeah. A right? free BBL. Mm -hmm. Free BBL. So those were my, I think, favorite moments okay. that I remember. And then this year I have, like I said, one thing on there that's already coming to fruition. It's God willing, keep it, keep it going. I'm trying to think what else is on there. I have Barbara Walters on there this year. Oh, nice. Yeah, I don't know why. I just feel like she's, okay. I think she passed, right, this year? she. I think that was, yeah, it was in 2023. Barbara Walters? She, I didn't know that. She, she literally passed, didn't she? In like, like six months ago, maybe, or four? I don't know. But it's probably somebody that you look up. She was like a powerhouse. She was one of the first trailblazers. Oh, she passed a year, almost a year ago, December 30th. December 30th? Yeah, like 2022. Whoa, that's crazy. Damn. And we're like at that, she's about a year. It's been a year of passing. Yeah. But I remember when she passed, it was like a big thing for like women in media, especially because she was like one of the first. I mean, she's the one who got these like huge interviews at that time, you know. She mm -hmm. asked some fucking hilarious dumb questions. I mean, they weren't dumb, but they were like so like, like you would never ask that today, I feel. Yeah, so yeah. direct. It was like They were so direct, yes. Absolutely. And she's just like a trailblazer for women in media. Mm -hmm. So I put her on there. Um, I have like random, yeah, I have like, I have a new couch on there because I want a new couch eventually. <laughs> I'm like, I just, I'm just trying to be specific. I love that. Um, but I yeah, so I kind of have that. I have that up there. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Dati, nice. what about you? What has come um, to light? So kind of going back uh, to what I was saying about everybody gives e everybody a word. Yeah. So the year before 2023, which was 2022, um, one of my friends literally told me after we talked about our vision board, she's like, you give so much love and you do so much for other people. Yeah. But there's one thing I want for you so bad that I think you deserve and I don't think you have is romance. Wow. So I made my whole vision board around like a fairy tale <laughs> and like romance and that. For 2024. For 2023. Oh. For this year. Yeah. So talk about being specific, right? Because I do think I got romance. I think I got adventure. Yeah. I think I, think I, I went on dates. I went on great dates, you know. You I went had on a dating app. I had I had fun. It 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 was just the romance. It was the fun. It was just learning oh. the experience. Just stop, just putting myself out there to like allow myself to get to know somebody. Um, but it was just that. <laughs> it was that. Um, so again, going back to like being specific, right? Mm. Um, so this year, uh, outside of that, I'm just very focused on like I have something on there that's like a person pushing and it says this is your comfort zone and then it's like a hugging heart and it's saying this is the life you want to live or this is like this is the life you deserve or something and it's basically saying like you need to get out of your comfort zone in mm -hmm. order to achieve the life you want and that's a big theme for me and a part of that is like self-discipline um yeah. controlling my emotions as far as just like not overreacting, not overthinking. If it's out of my control, let it just let my let me find peace. And a, I attract what I attract, the energy I attract. I want it to be positive, peaceful energy. Um, so that's like a big driving force of my theme going into 2024. And I think obviously 2024, 24 is actually one of my lucky numbers. Um, and so I, I'm just like feeling like this is going to be my year. <laughs> I hope so. I hope I watch this a year later and I'm like, yes, yes. girl, it was your year. Um, but this is a year that like I finished my coursework for my PhD. So now it's just doing my research, passing the comps, yes. defending, um, my proposal to write my dissertation. And so hopefully in my professional life, all that goes well. And in order for that to happen, like personally, I need to just be ready for it and have self-discipline. So that's where my energy is going. And obviously like all the other lovey stuff, but yeah. 
That's that's. Oh my god, I love. That's me. Get you a man. That's what you need. A husband, not a man, because that's the man part wasn't the problem. Okay, it wasn't that. It's just like a good man, a man that man. aligns mm. with me and the life I want, and learning how to compromise and learning how to acknowledge if this is the man I want, it comes with this, and I have to learn how to adjust and maybe realign if that's what I want. You get what yeah. I'm saying? So yeah, you got this, girl. Mm-hmm. And then Nestor, what, since you've never done a vision board before, okay, what are your, you can even say like what are your goals for twenty twenty four? Write this down or no? Or should I just say it? Right, what say down? it. Like, because you guys are gonna be guiding me. Is that the? We say it, and then whenever you want to okay, do it, we'll like, work with you. I'm saying like how, when you when you start formulating, how do how do we do that? Project? I write a list on my notes. Yeah, okay, start with so a list. I write a list. How do we put it together? This is you guys helping me. Put yeah. <laughs> no, I'm I'm literally so like so we're creating a vision board, right? It. This okay. is my list. Read it out to him. And then, and then yeah, it becomes... Okay, so read some of yours so that okay. I can... Okay, so I have open-minded, the quote, this is why I never settled. Uh, trust your gut and intuition. Rest, health, balance, research, past comps, focus, matching energies, protect my peace, alignment, safe spaces, the art of saying no, humility, a mirror, gateway, finding magic within me and little things, Leo, lion, strength, potential to be more, control emotions, beacon of hope, 90s love song, love story, be bold, loft, but loud, but soft. I'm filled with calm energy knowing God has my back. I let go of upsetting energy and embrace peaceful energy in its place. I am the energy I attract. Uh, I have, again, this is why I never settled. That's how much I mean that shit. Whatever's meant for my highest good will unfold in the easiest and most effortless ways. The, wor- uh, the phrase soon to finally, like I will get this soon. And then it's like, finally, I got it. Um, I don't chase, I attract, and then a whole bunch of stuff I found online. You go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say it right now. Okay, go, Paulina. So my turn for my. Yeah, some of these things so that I can. So I know what she put down on her vision yes. board. Yes. You're so some, specific. See, damn it, and it kicks my ass every time. You see, just so you guys. Know I know. How I feel. Well, but again, I've everybody's never, different. I've no. never done a vision board, so it doesn't have to be perfect. No. Oh God, no. Half the stuff I didn't put. This but, is my list on notes. Not all this is on the vision but board. The, right. She's just kind of preparing herself. Yeah. And the yeah, reason right? why I'm kind of have asking these questions no, and just yeah. kind of wanting to know what you guys put on there is so that maybe someone that's out there that's listening. They might they yeah. they might not know where to start. You know what I mean. And so, well, that's a great starting point of literally writing down either your goals, like mm-hmm. affirmations, mm-hmm. quotes that inspire you and that you want to take into the new year. That mm-hmm. those are all good starting places. Yes. Okay. You know, and it could be as simple as like I said, like right now, like I want a dog. Like you know what I mean. Bless I bless you. you. Wait, there was a story about the dog. Oh, so two. I'll, I'll make it quick because you know I could talk about. <laughs> it. So two years ago, yes. this is the crazy one. Two years ago. Every single thing on that vision board came to fruition. Literally happened in different ways, but they happened except Dubai. But anyway, it's okay. <laughs> um, so I put a picture of this cute little puppy because I. this is again, this is right after COVID. This is where I was working from home, not knowing when we were going to go back to school. So I'm like, this would be the perfect time to have like a little puppy. So if you, for those of you who know, I have visitation over a dog named Luna because <laughs> I got her with my friend. But anyway, I was like, I want my own little puppy that stays here with me that's hypoallergenic and it's like this big, like one of those little ones. Okay, yeah. And I was just, I just put it on my vision board. I'm like, I just feel like I'm so stressed. I just want puppies in my life. I kept saying that. I just want puppies in my life. Well, literally like weeks after I made the vision board, Luna got pregnant. And she had puppies. And then a few months later, she got pregnant again and had more puppies. And then the next year passed and she got pregnant again. So till this day, Luna gave birth to 19 puppies ever since ever since I made that vision board. Luna Luna in the streets. So no, she is now. (laughs) She's in these streets. (laughs) No, same baby daddy. Okay. Same baby daddy. She has a whole family. <laughs> she lives with some Walmart. of her kids. Oh Don't God. come for my daughter. She's a great mother. She's a mother. <laughs> and we know where all her kids are. They're all like with people we know. And But That's anyway, nice. so that I just think it's so funny because I literally said puppy. I want a puppy. And puppy. Then that and happened. then we got 19. 19 puppies. Crazy. See? So that See? was that was my like be specific thing. Yes. Be 
specific. Because again, I said romance yes. in my head. I'm like romance, like like my partner, romance my for, my forever person. But no, I got just like fun dates, romance. Right, you got romance size, romance. Sure, they just, swept you off your feet, type shit. Romance, yeah, for a little bit, and then yeah. I was like. Mm. And then she bye. Before Never we, mind. Before we wrap up, though, Nestor, what are, because you kind of heard from us a lot, yeah. what are yeah. your yeah. goals for 2024? Let's focus on yeah. you. <sighs> Putting me on the spot, I know. Guys. I know well, that's, what that. this, okay, that's so, why we're okay, cozy. So for me, I, I, I guess I would say um, <laughs> one of them would be, like, my sobriety. Mm-hmm. Ooh, so, that's a good one. So that um, purpose. I guess, I, I guess I'm just going to start seeing yeah. words, right? Yeah. Take notes for um, you. Becoming, you, becoming a student. <laughs> Uh, so that I can be a teacher because that's what I want to be eventually. I want to start. You want to start teaching? See, like- I don't know what to say because I know no, you guys. Say it. This is your no, time. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because the thing is that you're saying that the vision board should be with people. You should share that with people that are more personal to you. And you could. You, it, that's so that's, that's what I'm saying. It's up to you. You can anyway. share it with nobody share, or everybody. That's, but then that's, we're sharing it to preference. the world. Well, well, yeah. You don't have to share things that you don't okay, want no, to because no, I'm, share I'm also share. like that too. I'll yeah. share. But what you're I didn't comfortable share, sharing. Uh, everything. Okay, I'll just share. Whatever. No, whatever you're care. comfortable I'm, with. I, I'm going to share either way. Go ahead. Just share so, non Nonprofit. I would say nonprofit. Mm-hmm. That, that, See, I'm, I don't want to be so specific about it, but so that that tags along with with my field. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So so education. I would say I love that. Um, Beautiful. Not just. I know a lot of people want this for me, so just like an actual relationship. Mm-hmm. You want that for 2024? Um, maybe not 2024, <laughs> but <laughs> maybe I ready. can start dating people serious. You know? Okay, and be more intentional with your dating. Yes. Okay, I like yeah, that. that's where I'm at. Um, that's where I'm at right now. Protecting my time. Mm-hmm. Protecting my energy. Yes. Um. Maybe a little bit less emotional. Mm. Um, because I know that I'm very driven by emotions. Same so way. I don't want to be doing that. Um what else? Did I say a lot already or no? No, keep Should going. going? You okay. literally okay. speak from the heart. Um, right. that you're comfortable. A sharing. lot of uh, I wanna say health. Yeah. I got a doctor this like an official doctor after a yes. whole time. So doc so health is wealth, health, baby. Health. Um what else? I do want to get a lot of things done. Like I know you might not think it's a priority, but I think it's what? a priority for me. Like because I know you said about the BBL. Like, there's not, look at. But I want that. Not a BBL. Not there's a BBL. nothing wrong with that. I want all the BBLs. Not a BBL. Maybe. There's nothing wrong. With but so I do cos, uh, want a cosmetic like. You want enhancements. Cosmetic yeah. enhancements. There's like absolutely a, nothing. I'm getting wrong. my boobs done after this baby. There's I nothing wrong myself. with that. Yeah. There's nothing. wrong I already with had that. an appointment. But I have to go back because <laughs> things are gonna change. It's what fine. else? Um. Nothing wrong with that. I don't know why this is coming to my has been coming to my mind a lot. Like no cutting corners. Mm-hmm. Ooh, um, that's good. I know you had mentioned that too, and so that kind of was kind of like a confirmation. Mm-hmm. Uh, or no, you said it. Oh, how said how you've learned so many things throughout the years, and we have. You know what I mean? A lot of us have learned a lot of bad um, habits throughout, like us growing up or whatever. So oh, just yeah. no cutting corners, because a lot of times we just want to hold on to that. And with that said, like just letting go of some of those things. So letting yeah. go. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? Property. You're gonna get a property. Yeah, Yay! property. Um, I'm so proud of you. What else? This is amazing. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, I just, love these goals. I would love for you to make. You don't have to, but to make a vision board. If you don't have magazines and should I bring sticks, it next time that I come? You can I do that. Sent you this. Should I so bring it next start? time that I come? Dude. You're gonna make it and bring it. Yeah, so that everyone <gasps> yes! can see it. I yes. Think it is, uh, yes. Do I, I want do you it. to do it. Yeah. But can and I you can homework. do it digitally? You have homework. Can I ask something? Of course. Marco, can you say you want? I know you don't want to do it, but can you do it real quick? What? Like. Speak out a, vi- a quick vision board for us. Or, or or don't even think about it as a vision board. Yeah, what are your say, goals for next year? Things. What are you looking forward yes, to for 2024? Yes. Uh, this is healthy, you saying it. A healthy and happy baby. Uh, amen. Amen so to that's that. Two healthy, thing. happy babies. Well, one of them is being born in 2024. Well, I know, but, but I'm yes. just saying we want to be specific here. Um, as much time as possible with my family. Um, continued uh, growth in all my things. And... About it really, besides getting into details, but yeah, 
That is as generic I can give you. Okay. That's fair. So oh. I love it. What would you guys say? Like what? Because we're almost, not just yet, but literally a year ago almost is when Paulina approached us with, yeah. with like, this is going to happen. This is the vision. Let's yeah. meet. Let's talk about names. Let's talk about what we want to do with this podcast. And you guys were down. So what do you guys want for the podcast in 2024? 2023 was starting. I got it. you right here. Oh, People okay. sharing my motherfucking stories. Uh, oh, I'm going to need you to be specific. Yes. <laughs> Yes, be specific because I do because then I could come right back at you saying episode dropping the time is supposed to drop hey lady alright okay I'm just saying, let's, let's share my stories but okay, no besides that we'll I think share. I think um, just continue growth like it's interesting to see you guys from where you started to where we are now I, agree I feel with that. like yeah, for sure. Nestor, when we first started, was the most nervous person I ever met in my life. Yes, but which is kn- crazy because I'm really not like yeah. That but right. like, if you knew life. him no. outside of like the cameras, he's like the coolest person in the world. And Tati was me and Tati bug. I mean, butt heads like from day one. I remember yeah. that from day. like minute minute five. So <laughs> me and yeah. Tati were just like nah. never forget. She's like, "Who are you?" And I'm like, "Who the fuck are you?" So. Yeah, it really was like that. I was like, Ooh. ding, yeah. ding, 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 battle. Those it stuff. really was. I was like, oh, yeah. shit. No, I'm so happy it worked out, though, and that, like, we stayed consistent and strong. People yeah. always ask, what's the hardest part about podcasting? Like, anyone can yap on a mic. Like, that's just facts. But I think it's about the consistency <coughs> and the chemistry. Like, I feel like our chemistry has grown so much over mm-hmm. the year, and I, I love it, and I want to keep it up. I feel like we've kind of found our flow. Yes. Um, And we want to introduce new things in 2024. We have, like, a new segment coming. Um, mm-hmm. We want to do more events. Just like some fun stuff, you know, and I yeah, want to keep I, it up. I, I definitely want to do another event. Yes. <laughs> I know like last time Nestor was like, oh my God. You want to do a live you know, show? He, but I think we should do like a one year anniversary oh. party. I was Here just go. thinking that. I'm just, it's like, I know. not there, like somewhere else. So it's like less stress on you. I mean, I'm down, but I mean. It could yeah. be in Candyland. It could I mean, be we close Candyland. It eight, but yeah. but I, I, I would like to celebrate one year I also would like more consistency across the board with like everything, all of us, but also understanding and respecting and acknowledging that there are going to be two never too shy babies. That's crazy. Well, Twenty twenty four. Three, but yeah. Two new ones. Oh, okay. I'm just saying. Like, I'm like, I'm like, wait. is there something? Oh. Right. I'm like, hold on. I'm like, I'm the one now. Nazi, I look at Nestor. Not me. <laughs> Why are we looking at Nestor? Nestor? I don't know. Nestor. <laughs> He's up to something. I know it. Nestor's going to adopt. Think- two, two newborn babies. Yeah. And a baby. <laughs> Nestor's going to so adopt like, one. So like respecting that you guys are parents and you that's above anything, yeah. but still trying to be consistent even if it's Nestor and I picking up more loads, which is mm-hmm. fine with me. <laughs> Nestor's like, loads. oh. I know. As I was I just going to say, more loads. as I said it, I was you, like, you looking into his oh, eyes saying yeah. loads. I don't want any more loads. Come but on. you get what I'm saying. Like, um, I think- given that we don't have partners and babies, like, you know, we'll pick up any slack if there needs to be. But I don't even want to say yeah. the word slack. So I think Maybe to, will. To, to Marco's point, um, I think being more like active on social media and just connecting this with yes, like being as close as we can to our viewers and just yes, our people. You know what I mean? Like I want to be able to be more in tune with them. So I don't know. I agree with how that. we would do that. Like, but yeah, having more of that. One of my goals is to show up on social media more. Um, just like as a brand as a person me yeah. and this falls into that for me i'm like mm-hmm. i like need to promote like everything i don't promote shit that i do and i'm like i know, I know she got that- like free what do you got hams you got free hands. <laughs> she, she's in Darwin. Like, I want to be on Darwin. Like, I know. Darwin, give us a table or something. I you know, know. Like, I want us to have one sponsorship somewhere. I'm trying to get them in this door because why like, the hell not? Let's like, get a sponsorship. Be. Who they wants will. to sponsor us? Right. I don't know. Sponsor us. I feel like they will. Also, maybe having more people come and be here with us you know what oh, I mean? yeah. Guests, now we yeah. have now we have space f- to have people in the yes. audience <laughs> i mean we have people we have in the audience. audience right now yeah, we, yeah. Have, we have um, the cutest audience ever the best audience if you guys could only see royalty. Could see. royalty we have literally, we have literally, royalty. literally the queen <laughs> and the royalty. princess themselves i love it here at Candyland. technically the prince is in there too but guys okay so are we getting closer to like the end of the, this episode 
We are at the end of the episode. We are oh, at were the you end. gonna want to say one last thing? Because I know you had all these points that you had well, sent us. No, I mean so, th- those are options. Like okay, and yeah. Okay, uh, okay. So I got everyone a little something. Oh, Wait, shit. what? A little present. You know, we're I love her. Okay, presents. We're talking about something. Don't cut this off. Oh, I will not. Oh, my God. I love his something. grandpa flannel, though. I know. His grandpa flannel's everything. With his little thing. skip. If you guys could see this little skip. He even has, He's like, like a cute little elf right now. Wait, what is He's going a little, on? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But wait, I thought. Wait, wait, hold on. What is oh, this? shit. Okay, look Christmas. What is it? Close your eyes. Close your okay, eyes. okay. So just close your I'm like, eyes. wait, aren't I going to see you guys again? All right. What am I going to do? I'm like, oh, shit. Okay, cool. I didn't bring anything. I'm an asshole. I'm scared. I'm so scared. I won't. I won't. I'm so scared. Close your eyes. This is so mm-hmm. cute. I have to turn around on you. Oh my I god. Oh my god, it's kind of heavy. Yeah, okay. I'm really scared. Oh my god, is it gonna break? Are you guys ready? Yes. Is it gonna break? Okay. Open, <gasps> open your eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> so. Uh, no, you didn't. So my my kid. <laughs> Yes, you it's can. A it's, a it's a cookie. It's a cookie. I'm like crying. I got everyone. She can. <laughs> I, so let me explain to everybody, so guys. Let me explain to everybody what I got. Yes. So I got everybody um, Wait, cookies of them. <laughs> Here, I'll show you guys. Oh, yo, you're I'll good. show you. Like, very good. You're oh my god! Now they'll actually see what Marco looks like. This is <laughs> our producer's face. Right here. Yes. Oh my god. Thank you, Nestor. I appreciate it. So I So I so I posted so my my cake artist, which is also my sister in law. De- yeah, at Della B Cakes. Um well she um I had seen her post these uh for the holidays and I'm like, oh my god, this would be so good for the podcast. He could eat it, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yes, we should take, take a, a picture, picture of it. We have to all take a picture yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god! But yeah, I hope you guys crazy. love it. I'm These like, this great. is so cool, and that's so sweet. Merry Christmas, guys. This is really nice. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. So Thank you, Nessa. Appreciate it. Oh my god. Yeah. For me as well. Let's see yours. Oh my god! These Let's are see. so good. Dude, she even got um. <laughs> you know how I was wearing my shades. Yeah, oh damn! That oh, looks just like you. The top of the shades. Look at guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I'll be the cookie. I'll be the cookie and show everybody so they can see. Yes. How it wow! Looks. It's good cookie. It's a good cookie. I'm terrified, but I love it. Holy shit! You're fucking tan as motherfucker. I'm tan. I love it. I'm Who is that? Marco, can you? Can you? Oh, I was like, Hi. "Who the hell is this?" Oh, we have guests. She is the best version of me. Okay. Do you want to bring your cookie, or should Here, I? Go? I don't want to touch cookie. it. Too. Here, you can Do you grab my touch cookie it for him. No, you can touch it. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Pass Marcos, and then we're gonna we're gonna say bye to everybody. Don't break my cookie. Don't oh my break God, it. What if I just talk like this? I know. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Producer. The camera's in the <laughs> middle camera. Remember the middle oh, yeah, camera. Okay, okay. This one. Thank you guys. Yeah. yeah. Bye. No, probably not. We'll see. Yeah, that... <laughs> oh, you're uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you, uh, thank you Nestor. And Nestor, you Thanks. fucking snapped. Oh, Follow us at Paulina Rowe. Into the mic. At Talk with Dati. At the Bra Bro. And then at Never Too Shy Pod on the Gram. And we will see you guys again. Happy New Year. shout out to Della B Cakes. Always. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Well, this is the last episode of 2023. So, yeah. Happy New Year. Yeah.